what unique steps is FabMB taking mm -hmm. towards a more sustainable future? It's a huge priority for us. So like I said, we have the Cultivate Conference that's coming up. We also work a lot on little on pilot projects around training. One of the areas that we, we know is going to be a challenge is who's going to do this work? This is a new skill set, right? Like going in and doing sort of a life cycle assessment of, a, of, a, of, a, of your supply chain, understanding those greenhouse gas emissions, doing all that. Right now, there's like a big skill shortage when it comes to that. We work a lot with the post-secondaries to sort of say, okay, what, what does that look like over the next couple of years? And also, what are the trainings that we can offer around that? We're constantly posting uh, different, whether it's small webinars, whether it's pilot projects, whether it's you know, sharing people's stories of success. It's something that we will continue to focus on um, because I think it's one of those areas that A, could really help Manitoba differentiate itself, but also I think is one of the areas in which a lot of our members, um, I think, get overwhelmed by.